Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In earlier demo, we have seen how to create a CI pipeline using YML. And this was our CI pipeline with YML where we have stages which is installing NuGet packages and restoring and then it is building using VS build and in Fragile code it is copying that static files and then it is putting into artifact directory. And in this demo we are going to extend this one and add the release stage and whatever task is required for that we will do that and we will see how it works. So this is the last time we ran and we have release using classic editor. We have seen that one into earlier videos how to create a release using classic editor. And we have this website deployed into Azure. We have this code into Visual Studio where we will do some changes in checking that one. And we will see how automatically YML based build pipeline is being triggered and that pipeline and after that how release stage is working. So let's go ahead and start modifying YML files. For modify, we can do an edit from this place also from this UI or we can open this file from Visual Studio also and let's see that if I will go ahead and try to see if I have existing file. This one is our file and we can go ahead and add from there in check in. And then we can do this one from Visual Studio also. But uh, let's go ahead and do from this part where we have pipeline and in pipeline section, we have this build where we can go ahead and edit that one. And from using this place, we can get this uh, assistant. So we can leverage this assistant to generate our code if required. So I am going to add if we see right now we have a stages CI now I'm going to add new stages and let me add that and a stage will be that it will be release stage in release stage it is going to depend on I'm going to write depends on and then depends upon I'm going to do CI this is the CI that CI is it is going to depend on CI so this is what we are going to do and few more steps which I am going to add and it will look like this one that hey jobs now jobs and step now inside this step which we are going to have task so let's go ahead and let's add task and what task we can add here we can see that from existing release which we created using classic editor where we have couple of tasks and we can get the YML from this part also what to do and also uh, we can see that what is happening. So first we were running that our infra as a code using Azure CLI and then we were deploying Azure code uh, which code this code and this is deployed to our Azure app services. So that is what two tasks I am going to add. And for that, we have to first download the build artifact. We can go ahead and say that, hey, download build artifact. We can go ahead and add that one. What is the artifact name? An artifact name we have given the drop, uh, which is here. If we see that artifact name is drop, we have given this uh, build definition. So let's see that we are going to use that. And it is going to download into this uh, system dot artifact data, right? So, I'm going to add that. This is what our task look like, right? So we can add additional parameter like display name and we can say that download artifacts and then we can have different tasks. Different tasks will be that Azure CLI. So let's go ahead and add Azure CLI. And this is the task where we have to provide the which resource manager connection we are going to use and we are going to select Softwish demo. We have seen in earlier video how to create this resource manager connection and a script type. Let's see that what which type were we were using. It was the inline script and PowerShell. So let's still see that what we are going to use PowerShell and we have inline script. I'm going to copy the same thing from here this inline scripts and then additional thing we were doing that working directory. 
so let's go ahead and check that what is that working directory but working directly little bit path has changed because this path we are not using right now so i'm going to put that different path over here right now i'm going to use this path because we are dropping our drop into artifact that in and drop in fragile code so that task is there so i'm going to add this task and this is what it took looks like we can give the display name one more time and then the next thing next task was there deploy app service which we are going to do so let's go ahead and say deploy app services deploy and this is same thing which resource manager connection we are going to use softwiz demo and web type was there windows uh, web app on windows so we are going to keep the same and our demo was that uh, this test was there demo for this demo purpose so this is what and if you see this is what we are creating right now using this parameter file into infrage code also so this is a new thing and now it is going to use this downloading our drop our packages inside default so it was into artifact staging directory so i'm going to change that one i'm going to add this one so these are the task is required for creation of release now let's go ahead and save this file in this file we can save into our own branch user branch or we can create a new branch and then raise the pr so that review can happen and all these details i'm going to save right now once it is saved because we know that this is triggered based on my user branch so let's see if has triggered any pipeline or not right now we can see that one pipeline just now queued so we can see this one and now if you see there was only one stages before that one and now we have two stages here and it is dependent on that so we can see that one let's go ahead and now we can see that ci is running and once ci will be completed then release will start so let's go inside this one and we can see it here also so let's wait for completion of ci so right now we have old code itself into our code so i do not expect to change anything here after that when this job is finished then we will go ahead and change code little bit here inside index.chtml and then we will check in and we will see that one so right now the build part is completed let's see that ca part just started so let's see what happens for whatever step we have added so we have added download artifact run in fragile code and then deployment so deployment our last step so let's see right now run in fragile code is happening and if you run that one first time you might see that it is going to pop up sometime for using that service connection and you have to approve that one so that's just uh, take care of that when it pop up first time so so right now if you see this this rg is created and succeeded it is deploying all this uh, app services which was there into in fragile code and we can refer into earlier videos i have created for that now it is deploying we can see that it is updating files and other things now this pipeline has been succeeded both stage is completed and i do not expect any change because this was the same code which was into repo so right now it is that same now let me go ahead and change that one let's see that why am i demo delete stage right i'm going to save that change and i am going to okay, so let me pull that one first because we have made changes into our branch also so the test came now and we can see the latest by if we go into yml file uh, this is step just we added that one so let me check it right now changes here let me check in only index dot file now it uh, post right now now let's go ahead and let's refresh this pipeline 
we can see that right now it is triggered and we can see whatever comment we have given we can go ahead and see whatever changes we have done inside our pins now let's wait for this ci and cd so that we can see that if how it is deploying properly into our website or not right now our ci is completed now it is going to release states so let's see that. so now our uh, deployment stage is completed let me refresh this page and let's see what is the output this is the new page which we changed right now this is how multi-stage pipeline works inside azure devops using yml file and how the ci cd work as a code because this is code where we can have a review and other things we can see all the review what happens to this file how many times it has changed all these details we can see so that is the benefit comes right so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you will like this video in this series i will keep uh, creating few more videos on the azure devops from different scenario different type of deployment using this yml file so please subscribe and share with others thank you mm -hmm.